All right, hello everyone. We are back. Um, this is Blender Helix Alpha, and I'm going to teach you how to um, texture this terrain that you modeled. If you didn't see my last tutorial, here is a link. Click that link if you do not know. And it's going away. And three, two, one, and it's gone. Okay, so uh, we're going to learn how to terrain texture using the texture paint in Blender. I have four textures, uh, four terrain textures I ripped from Unity that I booted up in Blender. Um, just open up UF, UV Image Editor, um, Image Open, and then boot those up. Um, I'll teach you guys how to use your own textures here in a second, um, but we're just going to use these four um, uh, for now. So uh, keep watching, and I hope it's helpful. So, um, yeah. So, name this right here, Terrain. And uh, actually what we're going to do is image new um, and name this Terrain. Oh, whoops. Let's uh, do that again. Let's um, name it Terrain and then click UV Test Grid so it fills it with this. And um, so that's good. And then we're going to make a new one that says Clone. Actually, actually, that's not true. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm having to remember all this. Um, so now we have our terrain image, and it is working just fine for us right now. It's called terrain. So we're going to make uh, a new UV image, UV texture here. Click new, and uh, we're going to name that clone. If I could spell right, that'd be nice. We're going to click this uh, leopard pattern to designate that as the cloned one. And then we're going to open up um, this button right here is uh, designate which one you are. These are image layers, um, like for our uh, terrain. So um, we're going to click this one, and we are going to texture it the good dirt. We're going to go into our top view, go into edit mode, and project from view this. Uh, actually, project from view bounds, and then good dirt. Go into texture mode. Um, let's scale that up so it's higher resolution. And then let's uh, go into here and go to clone, clone layer. And then uh, if you did it all right, let me see if I got this right. Okay, so after you have that uh, set as that, after you click Clone Layer, what you're going to do is go to your Terrain Texture, and then we're going to texture that with our uh, Terrain Texture that we made here. And we're just going to Project from View Bounds. And uh, I think if we did everything ready, we can start um, texturing uh, by just clicking and um, since we textured our clone layer with the dirt texture, um, we are painting dirt. And um, you'll have to angle yourself correctly to get all these little nooks and crannies. Um, depends how you how you sculpted it, but we're going to t uh, paint all this uh, dirt. Let's go into our top view and paint this all dirt. I'll come back when I have this all painted dirt. Alright guys, sorry about that, I am back. Um, I had to re-sculpt my terrain because of the way I had modeled it, it was making it very difficult to texture. Um, but here I am, I'm finishing it up, and I have painted it all dirt. And uh, again, just to remind you, um, we are cloning the texture that has been textured onto this layer, um, which we can switch that out with our grass texture and then go to our other texture and we can start painting on grass now. Um, it really helps to turn down the opacity a ton uh, just to get it exactly how you want. But um, this is basically how you um, texture your terrain. 
Um, uh, let's continue texturing this. Uh, lay down all your grass here. Um, just like maybe some light grass layers. Now let's move on to our um, grass and rock. Let's paint that on here to our mountain. Um, you can also use your uh, brushes that you made um, for your terrain sculpting that I showed you how to do last tutorial um, with your uh, texture painting. Um, so now that we've done that, let's move on to our... Uh, let's switch over to our other layer and texture that with our uh, cliff layer rock. And let's scale that up a bit. And then, um, actually, that's a really good way to, uh, if you just want regular mountains, it's a really good way to make uh, mountains right there, just uh, texture it all like that, because that looks really nice. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to make uh, everything mixed. So let's texture that with our rock. And there's basic, there our basic mountain. I didn't spend very much time with it, um, but if you want some custom textures, um, go to cgtextures.com, um, go to rock, go to layered, and then you can find one there, uh, find one there, and, uh, we'll just pick one real quick, let's go with, um, let's go with this one, and then save image as, Actually, I'm just going to copy this image because I'm using Chrome. I'm going to open up GIMP. Open this image up in GIMP so we can make it tiled, so we can use it for a brush. Otherwise, it's going to look really kind of nasty. Edit, paste our image that we copied. Filters, map, make seamless. And let's uh, sharpen it up just for uh, just for kicks. And uh, my program is kind of screwing up right now. Okay, get started working again. Um, let's save that as um, layered rock PNG. Cancel out of GIMP. Go back to Blender. Open up that. Um, layered rock.png. And let's go to our clone layer and texture it with that. So now that's what that looks like. And then we go back to our master layer and uh, use your use your your uh, texture that you just made. And that's basically how you make terrain in uh, Blender. Um, if you want to add water, you can do the same thing. Just open up GIMP and uh, find a nice water texture. Um, let's see if we can find one here. Um, plain. Um, you just use this one. And make sure it's um, seamless, otherwise it's not going to look very good at all. And uh, to do that, go to Filters, Map, again, make seamless, and then save that as water. Dot, I'm just going to save it as a JPEG this time. And uh, locate that in your Blender. Open that up. Make a new plane. Uh, put that up above here, kind of where water would be. And uh, let's center that with our terrain. And then let's 
texture that. And that's how you make uh, terrain in Blender. I really hope this helped you out. Um, it's a really, really fun tutorial to make. So I really hope it helped you out. If you want to uh, actually make, make this sort of like an island, you can go into sculpt mode and uh, go to sculpt and then draw and then sub instead of add and then turn your size up and just uh, make those parts go under where they were going over. And um, that's a that's a pretty cool looking island um, that you've made. Um, if you want to make your island um, really low poly instead of high poly like this, um, right now it's 4000, you can go to add modifier decimate and uh, turn it down quite a bit. Turn it around like 300 and that'll cut the polys in half. And then what you do is um, uh, just texture it again with your terrain texturing, and it'll look pretty good. And it'll still be it'll be really low poly. So yeah, um, that's that's that. I really hope it helped you out. And uh, thanks a lot. Subscribe.